first video I'm going to start really basic uh, my goal is to have a interactive channel where Excel users can send in their questions and I'll make videos on how to perform the desired task so uh, in this first video I'm just going to show you some easy Excel formatting techniques uh, for, the, for the cells uh, number one here I'm going to take the social security column and I'm going to right click and go to format cell and here you can see your options I'm going to do custom option and everyone knows social security number should be three digits a dash two digits a dash and three digits so in the place of each digit you put a zero and Excel is going to take the corresponding number from the cell and fill it in where there's zeros then I'm going to put a dash um, Excel will automatically fill in a dash after three characters put in two more characters another dash and three more characters so now you can see in the sample here it's gone from this fake social security number 20781845 and now it will show 207-81-845 let's go ahead and apply that and you can see here that uh, has been applied to all these cells. Next, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to apply an accounting or currency format to your cells. In Excel 2007 there's an easy way to apply accounting format uh, under the home menu you can see here this dollar sign uh, by selecting your range and clicking the dollar sign it automatically convert to the accounting format. The difference between the accounting format and the currency format is really just how the dollar signs and the numbers are aligned on the left and right side. So I'll show you how to convert it to currency format. You can just right click, select format cells, select currency, and then within the currency you can see these sub options for how to display negative numbers either with like a negative sign in front of the value, the value in red text, the value surrounded in parentheses, or just the value surrounded, surrounded in parentheses and red text. Uh, and then you can show either two decimals or zero decimals or as many as you want really. But the uh, thing you want to consider here is if you're dealing with tens of thousands of dollars you may not want to show the cents decimal places. You may just want to show the dollars. So anyway we'll apply this here and see the result. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is a custom formatting uh, for the length of service, the number of years that these employees have been with the company. So what I'm going to do is select the range and right click and select format cell once again. Uh, and here I'm going to go to custom on the list. Uh, and where I have custom, similar to what we did with social security number, I'm going to put a zero which is going to represent the numeric characters in the length of service cell and after that I'm gonna put a space quote and just the word years and what this is gonna do is gonna display the number and then the word years so what you get looks like this 10 years 7 years 7 years the handy thing about this is that the true value of this cell according to Excel is still just the number so 10 7 7 uh, which means that you can still perform mathematical functions like if you wanted to say the sum of all of your workforce's experience it will treat these just like numbers and allow you to add them together last thing I'm gonna do is just neaten this up I'm gonna make the header row bold um, I can select the entire row by clicking the number on the left hand side of course and just clicking B for bold and um, what that does is just make it stand out the header of the information that you're looking at make it easier for the user to know what they're looking at um, I'm going to add a grid line by selecting the region and using the uh, quick borders uh, toolbox here and selecting all borders and if you want to get really fancy you can add a thick box border 
which is also in the borders menu around the outside and around your header row and give the header row a touch of color to make it further stand out from the data and you can see here that not all the cells are formatted the same alignment so the text cells are left aligned and the num numeric cells are right aligned according to Excel um, standards so we can just change them all to left align or all to center alignment or right alignment however you want it to look if you have any questions about any of the topics I went over just let me know um, I'd appreciate you subscribing and if you submit any kind of request for how to do anything in Excel and you are a subscriber of my channel I will post videos on how to do those uh, tasks so look forward to working with you guys and um, just leave me some comments to let me know how I did on my first video thanks